Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 25 of Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. We are on Introduction to Pointers, so let's go ahead and get started. So pointers, every variable is a memory location which has its address defined. Uh, that address can be accessed using the ampersand operator, the AND operator, also called the address of operator, which denotes an address in memory. So here we have an integer score set to the value of 5. Uh, we're using the console output to log out score, and then we're uh, ending the line. So uh, this is just giving you its address in memory. All right, cool. So let's try this out. Type in the missing operator to print the fish variable's address to the screen. So remember, we use the ampersand sign. Awesome. So a pointer. Uh, a pointer is a variable with the address of another variable as its value. In C++, pointers uh, help make certain tasks easier to perform. Other tasks, such as dynamic memory allocation, cannot be performed without using pointers. All pointers share the same data type, a long hexadecimal number that represents memory address. The only difference between pointers of different data types is the data type of the variable that the pointer points to. Okay, that's kind of confusing, but what is a pointer? So it's a data type that contains an address. Awesome. So uh, a pointer is a variable, and like any other variable, it must be declared before you can work with it. The asterisk sign is used to declare a pointer, the same asterisk that you use for multiplication. However, in the statement, the asterisk is being used to des designate a variable as um, a pointer. Following are valid pointer declarations. So here, we're declaring it, pointing to an integer, pointing to a double, a float, and a character. And just like with variables, we give the pointer a name and define the type to which the pointer points to. And the asterisk sign can be placed next to the data type or the variable name or in the middle. All right, so that's good to know. So type in the missing symbol to make the PTR variable a pointer to int. Cool. All right, and uh, using pointers, here we assign the address of a variable to the pointer. Okay, so we have this, and uh, we're assigning that to uh, the address of score. And then if we uh, output this pointer, we should get its address. So you sort of have to link it up. I'm personally not very familiar with that, so hopefully we can you know build something later on that. Uh, you know, implements this. The code above declares a pointer to an integer called score PTR score score pointer and assigns it assigns to it the memory location of the score variable using the ampersand address of operator. Now scores score pointer's value is the memory location of score. Cool. So type in the missing parts to declare a pointer to int which points to variable var. Okay, so we're going to say int star pointer is equal to um, uh, what, what are we going to say to, let me go back real quick. Let me just make sure I got this right. All uh, right. Int pointers. Oh, right. Okay. So we need the ampersand. So say int is, is uh, equal to the address of var. Awesome. All right, guys. So that was it for uh, lesson 25 here on solarn.com introduction to C++. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.